I once was lost too. Amen. Amen. Obedience to God, whom is the head of my life. To Jesus, whom died on the cross for my sins, and the Holy Spirit that dwells within. I would like to welcome you to another edition of the Chosen Vessel Show. Yes, that was the man in the mirror. A man in the mirror, like I said. That's you. That's me too. So sometimes we have to re-examine ourselves, you know. Because... If God be for us, who in the world can be against us? We do so much, we do so much, and we always want to blame other people. But it's actually not the other people that's really going to be held accountable. It's going to be us. We are the ones that's going to be held accountable. We're going to be held accountable for what we do and how we do things. What we do to people and how we treat people. Not how people do us or how they treat us. But it's us. It's we. We have to re-examine. And it starts with us. And what I wanted to start talking about, I wanted to, first of all, I'm going to show you guys where I, at the end of my show, if I give y'all anything that pertains to anything that's going on in the community, take heed to it because it's most, nine times out of ten, it's something that's free for you because God had already uh, paid the price for us, so everything that we do Every place that we need to be, that we go, we don't have to always have uh, uh, finances to, to, to praise God, you know, because he had already paid the price. He paid it in full, you know. He died on the cross for our sins so that we will have life and have it more abundantly. But the sad part about it is that um, if he died for our cause. If he died for our sins, why are we sinning so much to not have life more abundantly? Because if you don't choose ye this day whom you're going to serve, you're going to find yourself burning in that lake of fire, which is called hell. You're going to hell, bottom line. So what I'm going to introduce to you is um, I have a, uh, several things that I want to do. Um, I want to first. I'm going to show you guys that I, at the end of the last show. I was telling y'all about the free food giveaway that they with the Milwaukee Police Department was doing at uh, Walgreens and Walgreens lot on Hopkins and Hampton Street. Um, and they was giving away food, free food. Like I told y'all, bring y'all bags, boxes, cause they was out there. I got some footage of that. And another thing that I have. You know, we have these upcoming events, and they they real resourceful, resource, resourceful for you. Um, you need to take heed to this. Praise is, praise is what I do. I owe it to God. You know, he gave me my anointings. He gave me my voice, my gift of song. And he gave me my struggles. He gave me my trials. He gave me my tribulations. And I thank him for allowing me to pass the test. And see, one thing about it, once you, if you're not, if you're not living for God, you, you're living for the devil. And uh, one thing about it, if you, you think you, that you're uh, being blessed, some people think they're being blessed by God. But if you're not laboring for God, your blessings is not coming from Him. Because the enemy does bless you too. And um, one thing I want to tell you is that everything that God has the enemy tried to have too. He tried to duplicate, but he have no, he, there's no duplication in God. Because everything God does is, 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 is done out of love. And um, so some of your blessings are curses. Some of my curses, and they coming from the devil. And I'll tell you one thing. If you, you're not doing anything for God, and, and you're being blessed, and, and the enemy ain't messing with you because he figured that he already got you, you know. So, and, you know, I don't really worry about him messing with me because I, God I got a hedge around me so cold that is, you know, because I'm on fire for him. Yes, and I appreciate that, Lord, and I want to thank you. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. If the world need to know that the reason why I done came through, I done been through, I done went through, it's all because of God. You know, he allowed me to, to come out of some situations that I have been in, and I, I, I owe him 
all the honor. I owe him all the glory, all the praise, all the worship, everything that I can give him, I'm going to give it to him because he didn't have to die for me. He didn't have to die for you either, but he did. He did. He gave his only begotten son, you know, to die for us. And, and, and it's sad that we're not taking heed to, to the bigger picture, which is uh, uh, the ultimate goal is to reach heaven. Because when I tell, I, I think I believe I told one of my nephews that it, it, it's just, it's sad. It's really sad because he was stricken for our wickedness and bruised for, I mean, I'm going to call my grandmother. I'm going to call my grandmother because we got a song that I want to sing before I start this show. But I do. I want you to know that I will be introducing on this show um, Apostle Tauver, Kenneth Tauver, and his beautiful wife, um, Prophetess Tauver. I'm going to be introducing them to the show for the simple fact that God has sent me to them. I haven't really known them long or personally. I don't network on Facebook. I throw things out there for free, but they have a, 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 a ministry that they does on Facebook. I'm trying to call my grandmother so I can get her on here to sing a f song with me. Um, and you know, they keep it real. And, and the thing about it is, they spread the, the news. It's the good news. And guess what? We need we need the word. We need the word. Because the word is sharper than any two-edged sword. It convicts. It cuts. And if it's applied to you, you know, change your life. Because it's time for change. We don't have that much time left. And I'm encouraging everybody to just, the ones that are strong, to keep holding on to God's unchanging hand, for he will never leave us, nor will he forsake us. He's already here. You know, it's just a matter of time. You know, no man know the day, the hour, but it's just a matter of time. I can tell you that. So let me call my grandmother. Um. Oh, Mama Rose. Y'all know my grandmother lives in St. Louis, Missouri. So, she don't know I'm calling her for this, but I am, because I can. Hello, who is this? Davion. Hey, Davion, how you doing? Good. That's good. Where's Mama Rose at, baby? Mama Rose, uh -huh. hey, I got you on the air with me because I want us to sing that song that we sing, Holding On To My Faith. Uh -huh. I want you to sing it and I'm going to sing with you. Uh -huh. Yes, let's go. All right. oh, I'm just holding on. I'm just holding on. I'm 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 from St. Louis, Missouri. Come on, Mama Ro, let's let's sing it for the viewers. I'm holding on. I'm just holding on. I'm holding on. I'm just holding on. I'm holding on. I won't let go, go, let go my, my faith. faith. Of oh, my faith. faith. I believe in the Father and his son. Holding on, on to, to my faith. faith. Holding on to my 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 faith. 
faith. I'm just holding on. I'm just holding on. I'm just holding on. Holding on. Let go of my faith. Of my faith. This. There you have the song, just holding on to my faith. Now let me go up in here. Like I said, I'm going to show you. I'm going to introduce the uh, the toddlers to you. I'm going to. I went to their youth uh, to their youth day. I'm going to show you some of that. Oh man, did I have a beautiful time? Them kids cut up over there. Her son anointed her. Her daughter anointed my head with oil. Her son preached the word. I believe they were like seven or eight years old. They looked at like maybe a little other little boy, maybe a little older, probably about ten or twelve. But um the Bible tell you the charity starts at home and spreads abroad. So that's what I've been trying to do to my family. It ain't what I'm trying to do, it's what I am doing. I believe that trying is a cop out word. Either you're gonna do it or you're not gonna do it. It's like you're gonna either be a doer of God's word or you're gonna not you're gonna be a talker. And I have to do a lot of talking to make things people do things sometimes. And sometimes talking to them just don't get it either. But um, as long as I do what I'm supposed to do, I don't have to worry about whether they do it or not. I do have to worry, but I don't have to worry. Amen. Because my Bible tells me that I don't have to worry. And God don't got me in a worrying position. So I... Um, I totally trust him. I put my faith in him. And I just want everybody to know that I'm holding on to my faith and I won't let go. Um, so enjoy the show. This is, um, I'm going to show you a little of that footage. I think I done did, uh, went overboard a little bit. But this is my show. God ordained it and gave it to me so I can do what I want to do with it. And like I said, Apostle Tauber and her, uh, Prophet is Tarver, they will be doing the show once a month. God allowed me to, to pass it on to uh, share this ministry because his word, you know, it doesn't come back void and we need the good news to go forth. And, you know, the anointings break the yoke. It's so much that, that God have given us that we need to spread and that's what we're doing. I'm, I'm going to give it to you how you give it to me. Um... And I just want you to know, I'm going to show some of the footage first, and then um, I'll be back. Amen. Amen. <laughs> no, I got a clean record. I'm proud to stay. I ain't got to get a call. I'm proud to stay. I didn't got to stay out of here. You want to give them a this young lady is actually one that's coordinated. Which one, right? Okay. That's what's up. I'm going to go talk to Lisa. Oh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Is, is this Minister Sappho? Hi. 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 Tell the people what you're doing today. Uh, we're giving out free food for hey. the community. Hey, Amen. And we have some great people helping us today. Hey, Amen. And this is the 7th District Police Department, right? Uh, yep, 7th District along with the Faith Based Initiative. Okay. Glory to God. See there? <laughs> Only on the Chosen Vessel Show. Hey, Amen. Thanks. Have a good day. You have a better day. Okay, I'm back. 
Please let me know. You can't put a price tag on, on Christ because he already paid the price. He paid it in full. And not only that, if you fail, it's because of who you dishonor. If you succeed, it's because of who you choose to honor. Amen. And I got that saying. I heard the man. I sat there one day and I just listened to him. I'm like, wow, because I don't watch television. I don't have time to watch TV because I'm too busy serving God. I get all the news. I get all the bad news. I get this. I'm the ones that's singing at most of the funerals. And I never know the individuals that is uh, uh, getting uh, uh, victimized and everything. But this praise in the park that we're doing, we're crying out for peace in the name of Jesus. We're crying out for peace. And um, what it is, um, the, the power thought that had came with crying out for peace, it was like, um, it starts with me. No more tears, let's increase the peace. Amen. So that's what we're doing. And I know, I just want to say this, um, that I know when you're watching other people who claim to be saved, and some of me was even in the pulpit. If you die lying, pimping, deceiving God's children in any type of way, you're going to hell. And I once was lost. I'm going to show you some little footage of, stuff, of some things of me. But I, I got a scripture that I want to read. Let me get my Bible. Hold up for one minute. Back. And that's another thing. I like to say I'm holding up for a minute because anything that's lesser than a minute is not just a second. I tell you that. People that say, I'm calling you, I hold up for a second. Do they really know how long a second really is? So I could try to give a person a minute at least. Going to the book of Proverbs, we'll go to the sixth chapter. And I'm going to read from the 16th verse. And this is, and it said, These six things does the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed blood, innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked imagination. Feet that be fifths, that I say fifth, that be swift to running to mischief. A false witness that speaks lies, and he that sows discord among brethren. It said, My son, keep your father's commandment and forsake not the law of your mother. Uh, 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 uh. Bind them continually upon your heart and tie them about your neck. When you go, it shall lead you. When you sleep, it shall keep you. And when you awake, it shall talk with you. Thank you, Jesus. For the commandments is a lamp and the law is the light. And reproof and instructions are the way of life. And I'm going to stop there. I read you the book of Proverbs, the 6th chapter, the 16th through the 22nd verse. No, the 23rd verse. May God add a blessing to the readers, the hearers, and the doers of his holy word. I'm going to be showing you some things that you, I showed you something previously about me. But I'm going to show you some other things. Like when I was when I was messed up, I was pretty messed up when I was lost. I'm not ashamed of anything that I have ever done because God brought me out of all of them situations. Um, one, of the, I'm gonna show you a mugshot. I showed y'all one much. I started to go to the police station and get several other ones to show y'all how he was just taking me out of stuff. And eventually, he was always there. It's just I just was going through, you know, I chose to do what I wanted to do. I wanted to 
to kick it, you know, live the fast life, uh, drink. I wanted to get high. I wanted to, you know, uh, I wanted to just uh, experience a lot of stuff that I had no business experiencing. And I thank God for change because it's never too late to change. Even with your children, like I said, charity starts at home and start, spreads abroad. That means that you we can't lead by example if we don't have our house in order. So if, you know, in order for me to be on this television talking to you about um, anything and for you to, uh, to even believe anything that I say, I must live by it. It's my lifestyle should show, must show. And all sin is fall short of the glory of God. However, God is still dealing with us. He's dealing with me. And I love the fact that I got to spend something special to show you guys on the next show. The next show is called, this one is I Once Was Lost Too. Just to show you guys that I haven't always been who I, who I appear to be now. It's like God brought me a long way. I don't look like what I've been through, you know, um. As far as, uh, like I was like like the dead, walking with the dead, among the living and the living, sometimes we just, uh, like the night of the living dead, like I was trying to tell y'all before, but um, I'm, I'm just glad about my change, you know, I'm going to show y'all one of, like I said, this mug shot, I'm going to show y'all one of the ugly ones, and I'm going to show y'all one of the cute ones, then I'm going to go back and show y'all this tree that was in the back of my old house that I was at that um how it was dead on the outside but it still had life on the inside and that's us that's how we are we can be dead on the outside we can you can actually see how uh, you can some people can look at you and tell how that you're going through something by how you carry how you look but if you if you on the inside the outside is show too so <coughs> And I'm I'm going to say this, like, okay, he brought me out of homosexuality, you know. He brought me from homosexuality. I was, this is my second marriage, you know. Um, from Now I'm a little abstinence right now because my husband, you know, that's my business. But from homosexuality to uh, marriage to abstinence because uh, I, he delivered me from fornication and I'm not going to hell for adultery. And I just put everything in God's hand. Um, and I can tell this. I can say what I want to say. Because I'm helping somebody today. Because there are only supposed to be two people that's supposed to be out here just uh, uh, intimate anyway. Um, like my mother, Washington, at the church said, she said, yeah, but contraceptives is, contraception is a, a sin, you know. Because there are only supposed to be two people in this world that's supposed to be a sexually... Um, are supposed to be intimate with one another, and that's husband and wife, and God honor marriages. So, yes, um, like I said, I am who I am, and you don't even think about it. I'm not vulnerable. No, not at one bit. Um, I'm going to show you some footage and stuff. And I was like, the, the, the footage that I was telling you about that I was going to show you of the, of the, uh, how I was messed up when I was messed up is just I was beating myself up, you know. The enemy didn't mess with me because he had figured that he had already had me because I was doing wrong and stuff. And I just wanted to let y'all know that my singing it brought me out of a lot of things, you know. My, um, that's how how he was saving me because I was already uh, ordained in my mama's womb for my daddy's seed. And, um, I may even show y'all my dad at the end, me and him singing, um, a song together. Um, but, yeah, uh, we just, you know, my sister just transitioning. And, matter of fact, I'm uh, donating uh, Praise in the Park this year to my sister, Kim Miller. You know, she gone home to be absent from the bodies to be present with the Lord. Um, and that... Something is about to happen on the next show that y'all going to see. And I'll I'm will i not going to tell you, you just have to tune in and watch. But my sister was, uh, her homegrown celebration was on my father's birthday. Nobody knew that. And and, and all of that, overall, everything, you know, because my calling is singing. You know, I sing for God. I'm at funerals at just about everybody's funeral, you know. Um, 
Uh, my my grand my grandmother who you just heard on the phone her mother was buried on my on my birthday some years ago, you know I'm saved with me being saved I can accept stuff like that I can accept death because I know where my loved one is going after they leave here. My mother I pushed her in the hearse actually I was somewhere else at another funeral singing when the angels had came and, and let me know that it was time for my mother to go so I had told Martin at Pitt's funeral home I said Martin it's time you know um, it's time when you leave from here come to the hospital and bring the slate with you because my mother is gone already but when I got there you know, it was like, she was still, you know, because hearing is the last thing to go. I let her know that everybody was there because my mother always wanted us to be a close family, which we, you know, ain't no perfect family. I'm living for God. I'm living for God. And like I said, my lifestyle has changed and I want my family to know that I love them. And I don't want them to go to hell. I want them to, to change. I want them to change, you know. And it it, just, it it ain't it change feels so good, um, and like when my mother, I, um, when her leaving, you know, I felt like that a part of me was gonna leave too because she uh, passed with breast cancer, which is like a stress. Uh, and if sometimes people don't get it that these all these different ailments and sicknesses that come upon us, we bring them um, to ourselves. We bring them upon our loved ones because. Cause we're not doing we're not doing what we supposed to be doing but every time we turn around we got that one or two person that's breaking down at the front and that's because you're on a guilt trip or something that's why you should it's important that you that you treat people with respect and you love them as Jesus loved us because he did send his own God sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for us for our sins and we still messed up down here but we need to get it together and my brother, when he was, um, I lost my brother when I was six years old. That was so traumatized. I was traumatized, you know. And when I was in an accident from drinking, I had been drinking the night before, did not knowing that I was still legally drunk. But I found that out after they took my license and I had to take these classes and everything, that you can be legally drunk actually the next day when you wake up. So, um after me having an accident, it went back and uh, took me all the way back to uh, my brother's, uh, his death. I was, like I said, I was traumatized. It, I was called PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, which I believe God has delivered me from. He's delivered me from so much. It's just, whew, miraculous, God. I thank you, Jesus. Um... I used to can see things and I I don't see them anymore. So and then I and the molestation where the the um, older men was trying to to get with me. I thank God for preserving my um my um uh, keeping me for keeping me. You know because we have a lot of dirty old men out here and um. You know, and sometimes people turn to homosexuality, which I was trying to tell you, I don't condemn anybody, but we know that homosexuality is a sin. And if you're a pastor and you're doing a shame on you, how could you leave somebody and you're not, you're not living the life that you're supposed to be living? And you making you got your members thinking that it's okay to be gay, and it's not. If you're gonna be gay, you should just be happy. Um, um, it's just so much that God is showing me, and I can't tell you at all on this one show uh, because I still got I got praise in the park coming up. Um, I wanted to talk about a little bit of some of everything. I just I want to show you. I'm going to show you. Officer Saffold at the Washington Park. She's going to let you know what she had did. And I'm going to tell you about Now We Praise. Then we got Now We Praise is with a young lady, Devin, um, that I met. She was a homosexual. And she don't mind me saying that she had the, uh, the gay bar on 35th and Capitol. God delivered her. He converted her too. Um... See, me, I had a woman and a man, and he delivered me from that sickness. That was sickness. 
um, a disease. The devil loved that. He loved that. But he don't love my marriage because he's throwing every type of fiery darts at my marriage that he possibly can. But my husband loved me, and I know he loved me, and I love you too, baby. Um, then we got Praise for Peace um, coming up, and that's on the 7th, I believe. It, I'm going to make, it's going to be on the end of the show because I'm going to confirm it with Pastor Rodney or Serena Campbell. And that's Cross and Joy Ministries. They does praise for peace. Uh, I think it's like their tenth annual praise for peace. I'll be with them. I'll be marching with you. I'm gonna actually show you a little bit of footage what they be doing um, at Garden Homes Park on 26th and Atkinson. It's a one day event, so you need to go out and support them because all of this is about peace. We want peace. We crying out for peace because nobody should have to. Walk around here wondering if they're going to get shot or anything. Um, it's just sad, you know. It's sad that we can't live a peaceful and happy life anymore. I know when we was coming up, we used to fight. We did one-on-ones. If we got our butt whooped, we just got our butt whooped, you know. You know, it don't make no sense. You know, the, the enemy is the reason why. The devil is the reason why the gun law was passed. Just so we can kill one another off. Just to be honest with you, keep it real with you. So if 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 we go back to where we used to be and, and put them guns down, you know, there'll be a lot of happy campers to go because we'll be you'll be heaven bound and God will start working in your life way where you start seeing more blessings and more things happening to you. You can easily get distracted by the enemy because the enemy figured that he already done got into your head and start taking you other places. So that's the reason why you're doing what you're doing. But if you keep your eye on the prize and focus on God, every time you think of something negative, just say, Jesus, or oh Lord, have mercy. Plead the blood, you know, and he will fix it so that you'll be right back on track. He'll keep you on track. So, um, in another event, I just picked up a, uh, my event is, uh, I'm going to show you a commercial of my event. I got a couple commercials I'm going to show you on this show of my event. And then, um, I picked up something at the radio station, uh, on today. Today is, what today is? Tuesday. I went on the radio with, uh, Apostle Jerry Smith. I picked up, um. Another praise, another great commission, which I came, I came from up under my my godmother, Pastor Carol Griffin. She's doing uh, praise in the community, and we both it's the great commission for both of us because it's something that the provision that God has given us, um, and we both doing things differently, but we with one accord, you know. Uh, she giving away free bags of grocery at her event and that's on the 28th I believe it this will be after my event which mine is on the 21st but we have Terry Loves cooking she's going to be cooking up soul food on at my event which is Saturday uh, June 21st so there's your lineup I'm going to have to let this show go because it's uh, I'll go on and on and on I feel like Mr. Walton Mr. Charles Walton now behind this camera you know how you did Mr. Walton just like your mother <laughs> just like Janetta who can talk I guess that's how it is once you know you living for God you just can't stop talking enough about Jesus about the goodness of God um, but I just want to leave you with this I never would have made it. I never could have made it without you. Lord, I could have lost it all. But now I see how you were there for me. And I can say I never could have made it. I never would have made it without you. I could have lost it all. But now I see how you were the help for me. And I can't say I'm stronger. I'm wiser. I'm better. I'm so much better. When I look, think about all 
he's brought me through. I don't know the rest of the song, but I'm glad he held on to me. And I can say, Lord, I never would have made it. I never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. Cause now how I see how you were there for me and I can say I never would have made it. I never could have made it without you. I could have lost it all. But now how I see how you were there for me and I can say I'm stronger, I'm wiser, I'm better, I'm so much better. I made it. Have anyone out there made it? It ain't too late. You can make it. You can wait. Make it. Because trouble don't last always when you're running for the Lord. Amen. Never could have made it without you, though, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. See you next show. But now I'm fine. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to show you some, some footage and stuff. Because he figured that he had already had because I was going wrong. Comedian Kelly Kells checking in. I am looking forward to praising the park June 21st. Make sure y'all are there. It's going to be a blessed time. Yes, it is. Before I introduce the towers to you all, I would like to let you guys know about the, my upcoming event. It's Praising in the Park, the Great Commission, and we are crying out for peace. Um, and I have a, like a power thought. It's... Um, Oh, Jesus. It starts with me. That's why we just had the man in the mirror. It starts with me. No more tears. Let's increase the peace. And I'm just going to share with you a little part of this letter that I had um, sent out to the pastors. And, um, and we have flyers going around because we do need to increase the peace and stop the violence. Um, and learn how to love on one another because love conquers all love conquers a multitude of sin as well you know God is God don't don't like ugly ain't too fond of cute either but you need to learn that um that loving people don't hurt people you know helping people helps people and we need to learn how to to just love on people because it feels so much better to love. I tell you, my God, it feels good. I feel so good right now because I love everybody. And even though people, I don't really never see nobody that, that, yes, I do. I do. I see it sometimes. But the more that you hate, the more I'm going to elevate. It's called increase. And that's who what God does. God does the increasing in your life. See, then when, you do, when you're doing all that wrong and stuff, you decreasing in Christ. You need to let God let go and let God. Amen. Oh, my God. Because I don't even watch television, but I get all the bad news. And, I, and I, you know, I, I don't watch the TV just for that fact. Because half of the times, most of the people who, the victims that's getting victimized, I'm at the funeral singing at them anyway. So, you know, that's, he called me to do, you know, a job. And that's what I have to do. But, you know, let's not make the ears make the job so uh, better for other people than uh, for ourselves. You know, when we can be out here living a life for Christ, helping somebody else. My God, thank you, Jesus. Help. Because help is on the way. That's what uh, my mission is. Uh, the Great Commission. Um, we're crying out for peace. And it says, Second Chronicles 7.14, If my people... If my people, God's people, is called by my name, will humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, 
Then will I hear from the heavens, and I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. Now that says a lot. That says a lot, you know, because God is, he, uh, the Bible said, ask and it shall be given. Even if you have a reprobated mind, it, I mean, God double-minded, God will fix it. He's a mind regulator. He will fix you. All you have to do is just ask. You don't have to keep going out there just doing senseless Crime, stealing, killing, because he said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandment. And that, that's not just for the lost sheep, that's for the ones that know better. Because to know better is to do better. Amen. And I say greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You are hereby invited to pray my fourth annual, God's fourth annual, Praising in the Park, the Great Commission. On Saturday, June 21st. At the Washington Park Band Shell, that we, you can enter on 45th and Lloyd Street, because I got to make a correction on the paper, because I said 44th, but you can enter on 44th and um, 45th and Lloyd Street and hang right until you get a go on around until you get to the band shell, and everyone is welcome. And say hello. I am Cynthia Hunt, ordained minister of music by God. Volunteer producer of the Chosen Vessels with Prophetic Purpose television show with Milwaukee Community Media. <sighs> and I'm a faithful member of Rose Hill Missionary Baptist Church. I am the songbird as Janetta Robinson came to know. And I later became a producer on her television show. And not only that, I did her radio show as well. That was the voice, the singing voice back there. Amen. In the name of Jesus, this event has been ordained by God himself, you know, and he's calling, he's serving notice for his people to, to come together to unify in prayer, praise, and worship on this day. In the city of Milwaukee, it don't matter where you are, just come out, just come out. And what we're doing is, you know, I called out all pastors because it's a lot of times that everybody is stuck in between them walls. We need to come out of them walls and come out and reach God's people. I thank God I was riding down the street down the street the other day and I was I seen uh, uh, Minister Poe outside of his door. You know, he was out there preaching the word of God. I, you know, I was like, thank you, Jesus. Somebody is coming outside of that building, you know. You go. You actually can get claustrophobic if you set up in there too long and you're lazy and ain't doing nothing for God. The walls will start closing in on you. But together we can pull down strongholds. We can break bondages, um, poverty. You know, we need to reach our people. You know, the bondage of poverty and sin. We need to reach out to the lost sheep. God is calling all generation, all generation from the from the elders to the babies to come out, you know, it don't matter what denomination you are. He called all his people to come to praise in the park so we can uplift and exalt him in the name of Jesus together. My God, by honor and glorifying his name in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. By fellowshipping with one another for the time that God had allowed us to go forth in his name in the park. We together can make a difference. Yes, we are responsible for the upbringing of those who do not know Christ. Those who have been church hurt. And those who just simply don't know who Jesus is. You know, we are held accountable for that. My God. Thank you, Jesus. So I just want everybody, encourage everybody to come out to Praise and Park, the Great Commission, Saturday, June 21st. Because um, he said, with love and kindness, he draw. My God, I love everybody. I want to see everybody. I, you know, it's something how I've been in this city for 40 years of my life, and I still yet haven't seen everybody. I, I see new people, new faces every day. And that just lets you know that God is whew, something else. I tell you, the man is, he always constantly introducing us to something new every day. And I just want you to know that we will be having free food, 
free food. We're going to have uh, spiritual and natural food. We're going to have grilled food. We're going to have um, Terry Loves Cooking. is cooking up some soul food for us. And I talked to her just a few minutes ago. She said, sister, I'm going to have some. I'm gonna have my 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 chicken already put all in the in the uh the the bins with the ice over them so I can fry that fish that chicken up fresh. She said I'm gonna have some greens. I'm gonna have some macaroni and cheese, some yam, some turkey, some neck bones. Look, talking about some soul food and some spaghetti. You know, then we're gonna have the grilled food for the children and some of the adults as well. And then um. I'm, I'm waiting to hear back yet from, from Feed My Sheep, you know, um, but we hope they be a part this year. And then we um, also going to have some skaters come out. We're going to have a good time in the Lord. And I just want you to know that everything that we're doing out here will be free. We Some of our sponsors is going to come, going to come and set out there to give you some free information. Everything is free. God already paid the price. He already paid the price. You heard me earlier talking about that pimping and all of that stuff. And I don't want to tell you what the young man told me in the restaurant what pimping was. But I just know that if you misleading God people, you already know where you're going to end up at. So uh, I don't even have to keep on trying to put that in your head. But you need to get your mind right. Get your mind right. With Christ, and um, because He said, "Let this mind be in you, with this, which is also in Christ Jesus." My God, um, so cause salvation is free. Salvation is free. You gotta want it, and that's what we're there for. We will be having chairs lined up, you know, for discipleship. If you want to come to God, my God, you know, God is just so good. He is so good he is so good and i love everybody and i hope to see you there amen amen god bless you
Ministries, and this is my wife, Prophetess Tarver. Hi, I'm Prophetess Tarver, amen, as he said, his wife, amen, of Redeeming Faith Ministries. We're located at 7016 North 76th Street, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yes. And we'd like to, we're getting ready to go live, amen, once a month, amen, on television, amen, and it's awesome. And we want you to tune in to us. We're getting ready to go live, and our theme is sowing seeds, but God's given the increase. And not only that, would you let the, the viewers know how how do they know you out there? How do they know you out in television? They they will get to know you in television land, but they know you also. How do oh, they you know also you? Know us from Facebook. Okay. And we're we're seven days a week. Amen. Facebook ministers. Amen. You can catch us on Facebook under Kenneth Tarver. Amen. If you pull his name up, you'll see both of our pictures come up. Follow us daily on Facebook. Every Friday, I do Relationship Friday. That's why I answer every question. You can send any question in. Amen. 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 Do y'all have a bulletin, a church bulletin? Could you let them know where they can come, what time? Every Tuesday, we have Bible study or mm -hmm. prayer night at 7 o'clock. Also, Sunday at 3 o'clock, 2.30, we have Sunday school at 2.30. And at 3 o'clock is our Sunday evening service. You're more than welcome to come out and bless the Lord with us. Amen. Amen. And God chose them because they are real. God chose them because they are real. They are some real chosen vessels, and that's the reason why they are a part of the Chosen Vessels show. And I'm going to turn it over to them once a month. In the name of Jesus, amen? Amen. amen. God bless you. God bless you.